tell about the consistency and the stability of some of the lineups that you're putting out there, not just for you guys in the triangle, but maybe in the back line? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, things are going really well. We have a lot of depth in this team, but we're able to, you know, have that competition for spots. And we've been fortunate enough to, 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 to have a pretty consistent lineup, but still, we've had players that needed to step up when, when they got called, and I think that just shows how, how much depth is on this team right now. And I think that there's still another level to get to, and uh, we hopefully we keep pushing and, and making sure that we end the season on the right note. And, and it's all about uh, making that push for playoffs and, and trying to repeat what the team did last year. 50 goals in all competitions for you now. What does that mean uh, as, a, as a milestone for you here with the Seattle Sounders? I mean, it feels great, you know. The team moved mountains to get me back here uh, from from playing at Tottenham. And, um, you know, I've been glad to, to chip in with goals and try to help this team win and, and, and do some cool things. So I've enjoyed my time here. But, you know, there's there's more to accomplish. And um, you know, I look forward to finishing the season strong and, and trying to repeat. That, that would be nice. You talked about the buildup from Jordan for that last goal. Yeah, I mean, it was just uh, they did a good job of getting the ball wide. He made a good run. Someone found him. Um, and then just a great ball in. Uh, hit with the perfect pace that you don't really have to do much. Just have to redirect it a little bit. And uh, I was happy to, 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 to get it on goal. If it looked like we were going to break them down today, it did look like it was probably going to come from uh, the wings because they put so many numbers in the middle. It's kind of difficult because uh, it's clogged up in there. and. You go for periods of time where you're not getting many touches because those are the pockets you like to get in. But um, at the end of the day, uh, I thought we created some good chances by getting the ball wide, and and that was that was that was the one that uh, ultimately sealed the victory for us. Is that why it was so difficult to break them down? As the middle was just packed. Yeah, I mean they just had a lot of numbers there, and um, they did a good job of pre doing a high press. Um, the field was really dry today, so the ball was kind of checking up and 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 bobbling a little bit more. So. We struggled in the first half uh, and, and at, at the beginning of the first half and also uh, at, at times in the second half trying to build out of the back. But uh, we still got some good looks and, in front of goal. And, you know, even when, the good thing is when we, even though that we weren't at our best today, we were still able to get three points and we keep pushing and, and, and trying to, to better ourselves. Does this remind you a little bit of 14? I mean, when you guys are rolling and, and goals are just coming, I mean, this team's on a roll, eight unbeaten. Yeah, it also reminds me of last season. Um, you know, even when I was out, right, right when I before I went out, and when I was out, the team was just kept going on a great run, and um, a lot of guys were stepping up and 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 doing what they needed to do, and uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, those two moments in, in time. Yeah, for sure.